Good morning, lovely ladybirds and lovely bumblebees. How are you today? Are you ready for your next literacy lesson? So yesterday you were learning all about Neil Armstrong. Can you tell your adult who is Neil Armstrong? Can you tell them what his job is and why he's famous? Okay, have you told them? So today your learning objective is to write a fact file about Neil Armstrong. So a fact file is when we write the things we have learned about, the, the, when we write the facts that we have learned about Neil Armstrong, um, and it makes a little document or a little bit of paper that has all the facts we know about him, and sometimes you even have a lovely picture as well. So here we go. Yeah, so a fact file tells us information about something and you only choose your important facts for a fact file, OK? So we don't write every single thing that there is to know about Neil Armstrong because that would be a lot of writing. We just choose the most important things for our fact file. So can you tell your adult what we learned about Neil Armstrong yesterday? Can you tell them any of the facts you can remember about him? Off you go. OK, have you finished? Did you tell them lots of interesting facts? That's great reception. Did you manage to find any other facts about Neil Armstrong yesterday? Do you remember I told you once we'd finished that maybe you could go and do your own research and find out some other things about Neil Armstrong? I wonder if you managed to find out anything different that you might use in your fact file today. OK, so what do you need to put in your fact file today? So I have come up with seven things that I think are really important for you to put in your fact file today. You can use my ideas or you can come up with your own ideas. It's up to you, reception. Um, you can choose. You might have some different facts that you want to include and that's great. The things that I think are really important, because remember fact files are important facts. The things that I think are really important are what's his name? Where is he from? When did he go to space? What was his rocket called? Who did he go to space with? Where did he land? And what did he say when he walked on the moon? So I think those are important facts about Neil Armstrong that you could put into your fact file, but you might have a different idea and that's great. Okay, so you can use some of those ideas and you can use your own if you want to. Now I had a go at just writing some sentence starters for you, okay? So I haven't finished my fact file. I just wanted to give you an idea of what yours might look like. So I started mine with, Neil Armstrong was born in, he lived in, do you remember where he lived? He lived in America, didn't he? He was from the United States of America. He went to space in, and then you can put what year he went to space. And his rocket was called, can you remember what his rocket was called? It began with an A. Ah. It was Apollo 11. That was the rocket he went to the moon on. The other astronauts were called, he landed on the, what did he land on when he got to space? Yes, he landed on the moon, didn't he? And when he walked on it, he said. So these are just some ideas for, the way, for how you can write your sentences. Obviously, you're going to need to fill in the information. I haven't put the information in. You might want to do that or you might want to do something different. That's absolutely fine. You can do this however you want, as long as you get in your important facts about Neil Armstrong. So your challenge today, you are going to write your fact file. Make sure you put in the important information we've talked about today, okay? So the this is the important information. If there's anything else you found out yesterday that you think, oh, that's really important, put that in too. And when you finish, you could even draw a picture of Neil Armstrong, his rocket, or the moon to go with your fact file. I think it's really nice when you make a fact file to draw a picture with it too. And I know that you're all super, super drawers. So give it your best go reception. Remember that I love, love, love to see your work. 
Um, if you want to email it to me, if you want to put it on tapestry, I would love to see it. Remember your important facts um, and you can use my sentence starters if you want to or you don't have to. It's up to you. Good luck. Can't wait to see your fact files. Bye, reception.